We're going to be manual muscle testing the pronator quadratus. So we're going to start in a supinated position. I'm going to ask my partner to simply pronate. This has just action at the radial ulnar joint, so we won't worry about the elbow like pronator teres. So she's able to simply turn her hand over. Excellent. That is going to be the active range of motion. Now we're going to bring her to that halfway point. Again, I often refer to it as kind of that thumb up or neutral. I'm going to be taking my thumb and resting it all along the radius in this area. Well, again, I put my other hand behind her elbows to make sure she's not using her forearm. As she's going to turn over, I'm going to push against her. And we're going to hold this position for five, four, three, two, one. And then starting in a supinated position, she's going to turn her hand all the way over into a fully pronated position, like so. So again, that action of pronation at the radial ulnar joints. For the length position for this muscle, we just need to take it into a fully supinated position. We can leave the elbow bent. For pronator teres, we had the elbow extended, but for pronator quadratus, we can leave it flexed. So I'm taking my thumb, finding that kind of styloid area of the radius, and I'm just gonna rotate her into as much supination as I can get and getting that soft tissue end feel reload there. And that is the end feel or length position for pronator quadratus.